Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus here again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I think this morning I produced maybe three posts already. One was kind of despicable, so I didn't release it. But I find it necessary that I take advantage of this moment to even try again to see if maybe this time something can be said, something that will work, that will draw your attention. Look at me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in my 70s. 70 some years ago, I came here born to a child. A child born birthed me. And my great grandparents took me as their own and taught me the ways of that knowledge that they had gone through. I'd missed being brought up by a child and acting like a child. I was a child brought up to act like grown folks, to see things in a different perspective. I guess it was just designed that way because that's the way it happened. I stand here today, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm fed up. I'm fed up because what I have been doing is living in hell. And what I mean when I say living in hell, I'm living where pain and suffering exists. I even experienced that, and more people than me experience it. <clears throat> I'm living in a place where <clears throat> poverty, crime, and violence exist. We call that hell. I'm living in a place where hatred, racism, and bigotry exist. I'm living in a place where terror, killings, and war exist. And these things are just the order of the day, all the time. And there are people who are even dissatisfied with the way these things are happening and are advocating for a civil war. But ladies and gentlemen, I do not advocate for a civil war. I do not advocate evil fighting evil. That's what civil war is, evil fighting evil. See, here we got a system of government that allows all of the stuff that I just mentioned to exist. And all the people that have lied to you come to the American people and say, I can fix this for you. I can make it better. And the only thing they are doing is making it worse. You know it's worse when we've come from such a bad spot and the only place we see ahead of us is a return to that bad spot. When we look at those who are to uphold the law or the ones that break the law, feel that they are above the law, whether it might be policemen, whether it might be anyone, judge, lawyers, whether it might be those who make laws like the Congress, or whether it might be like the ones who are supposed to make sure that the laws are enforced, like uh, the president and the Department of Justice, or those who say, well, if you've got problems, bring it to us, because we'll fix it. We'll make the right decisions. The Supreme Court and every last one of these institutions exploits the system, exploits the system which they designed, a system which was designed to fail. Perhaps they know that, but I've been living long enough to know that, and I'd be damned if I want to sit here living my life telling people about God, telling people that the whole dead blasted earth and all the fruits and resources that are in the earth, that are above the earth, that are on the earth, whether they are seen or unseen, are gifts by the creator of this earth for all who lives on this earth who might be able to utilize any of these resources free. And then we allow, rather than working out a way how we can benefit like that, we allow someone to come in and convince us that they are the ones who can make the decision. And so they take all of the property, come up with a system that allows all of the resources that are essential for our survival. Got somebody's name on it. It belongs to someone or belongs to some group. And the only way you can access life is to have money that someone else has designed is how you're going to access this stuff that God has given you. Have taken God's whole heavenly plan and stuck it down here and made us living in hell. We are living in hell just like those who took the land from the natives and did what they wanted to do and the natives were living in hell. Just like the ones who took slaves and did what they wanted to do and the slaves living in hell. Just like Americans, people all over the earth doing what man says do rather than what the creator has designed us to do and we're living in hell. No, we don't need a civil war. We need a holy war. We need somebody to stand up for righteousness who says I'm not gonna take this shit no more. And if you, no 
You represent righteousness. You represent that stuff that caused pain and suffering. You represent that stuff that's caused evil to, to, to people. We are going to battle it out and let God be the decider who's going to win. We don't care. But we are not going to take the shit no more. But we need somebody to stand up and say, God, we love you and we believe in you. And we want to treat people right. We want peace and prosperity and freedom and joy in our lives. We want to live our dreams. We're tired of this shit. And we ain't going to live in hell no more. Yes, forget the civil war. Let's have a holy war. And if we all die, we all deserve to. Ain't nobody playing no games anymore. Supreme Court walk around, I don't even want to talk about it, they say. They just violated it in the front of our faces. And we sit back and talk about it on social media. What the hell wrong with you, America? People come into the Supreme Court, come into the Department of Justice. DOJ, who sits up and ripped the law in our faces. And we sit back, hoping it'd be better next time. Hoping we can get a leader that's gonna care about us next time. What the hell is wrong with us? That's what's wrong with us. We are filled with hell. That's why 40 years of talking to you about it hadn't meant a thing. That scripture book in the Bible, for as long as it has been here, hasn't meant a thing. You don't know why you've been to all that stuff, do you? I'll tell you why. First of all, you're ignorant. You don't know any better. And the main reason is because you're afraid to die, and the devil will kill you to control you. And you know it. So you tell yourself that you're obeying God, but you're listening, your servant, to Satan.